What's up, everyone? This is Squigs, and welcome back to another episode of Squiggy's Rom Hack Romp. We're back with another very special episode from the one, the only, the seven superstars. And he has given to me another hack for specifically me, so thank you right off the bat for that. I really, really appreciate that. That It means a lot to me that someone sat down and made something just, to, just for me, and even named it after me. If we can get back to the original... There it is. Super Squigs World 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> so this is a Super Mario World 2 hack, which is the first one being played on this channel. And I gotta say, I'm excited for that as well. So I was told... Hold on, actually. Uh, uh, da, 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 I need to open my Gmail. Don't don't go off on me, YouTube. Sorry, one second, folks. Alright, so, some Susar says, Hi Squigs, I'm so sorry about this, I have this one level long hack, but the first boss might actually be impossible. It's right at the end of the level, so you won't miss anything, but I'm not sure if you can complete it. SMB2 has a custom enemy creator with tons of presets that you can edit, I made the most difficult enemy known to man. He's the fastest, hardest to attack, most insane final boss to ever exist in the history of man. He's going to be a recurring villain. Also, please play as Mario for the ideal experience. Play as Peach if you wish yourself upon many tears. <laughs> so I'll play as Mario. That's what I wanted to say. I knew I had to pick a specific character, so it was good to read that out, I think. Uh, we'll play as Mario, and what are we getting ourselves into? It's a one-level hack, so... Oh my god, Mario is blue. <laughs> Blario. Um, so we have... Coins in the overworld. Wow. Who would have seen that coming? This is... This is awesome. It's just like... Oh... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> um, so, I have three lives to get through this level, which is not looking good for me, to be honest. These coins I don't think will do anything either, because I have to finish the level to be able to get lives with them, and it is a one-level hack. Uh, although I did get an extra life from there. Um, well, we're going to just wing it the first time and see how it goes. Jesus Christ, so we drop out in the middle of nowhere. This is cool. You can tell that it's a level edit of the first thing. Um... Well, I didn't get my extra one-up mu mushroom. Should have probably picked those up and seen. I mean, I, not the extra one-up, the extra heart. Um, you can tell it's a level out of the first thing, but what the? Mario's jump is insane in this hack. He must have edited all the jump values. It's actually it feels a little, it feels good. I like it a lot. Like you're moving well <laughs> as mario is not usually my favorite character to play in this game just because he's kind of a small jump standardly rounded kind of guy um but like he's hard to make jumps like this is like insano um luigi style jumping except even cranked up a little more i think um this is awesome though look at this level it's kind of got like an icy palette to it um yeah, okay, I don't think I want to go... Th I don't think I want to go down any waterfalls, is what I was trying to decide right there. Because I'm pretty sure you die going down all the waterfalls in the original game, if I recall. Um, not 100% on that, but we won't, we won't test it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Anything? Oh, I guess we're checking that out. I can't... Okay. Who fucking knew about that glitch, huh? <laughs> Not me. Oh, well, it seems that your vine was one off from where it should be. I think the way that it works out... Oh, that's cool. Cool jump you have to do. I think the way it works out is, uh... That you line up wherever you leave a previous level is where you come in the, the next level, almost. Um, The editor for SMB2 is actually... It's tough to use, but I've messed around a little bit since... Uh, Seven Superstars mentioned that he was working on this. God damn it, that's not good. I really don't have the lives to be losing like this. Uh, but yeah, since the Seven Superstars mentioned he had been working on this, I've been messing around with SMB2 Edit as well. It's actually... It's easy to use, but clunky a little bit. But it's easy to get into, kind of like Lunar Magic, where to unlock its full potential, I think it would be kind of tricky to figure out. Um... But you can just jump in and start editing right away, which is cool. So if you've, you've ever been interested in, in uh, doing an SMB2 hack, I say go get SMB2 edit right now and try around with it. It's really not that bad. Oh, we got the final boss music! Which is fitting, because it's only a one-level hack. Now, I'm nervous to even approach this guy. I'm going to make sure there's nothing back here that I can get. No. Well, we're going in for it. Let's see what we got, folks. 
be so fast, I'm afraid of scrolling them on screen. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, seven superstars, you fucking... I can't tell if he's trolling me or if there's another enemy. That was fucking amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Good one. Good one, dude. <laughs> he sent me like a bunch of YouTube messages about how hard this final boss was gonna be and how I should save state every single second, how it's not even possible even with save states, how how he cranked everything up to the max. He's the most difficult recurring villain known to me. Oh my god, that was fucking hilarious. That, you really did set me up. I was nervous. I was gonna ask you if I could apply an infinite life patch to this because you said the boss was so hard that I didn't want to have to reset over and over every time I challenged him. <laughs> that was very, very funny. Thank you. I've, I got got. I got got pretty hardcore right there. Um, and I don't usually get got. I gonna get. But this time, I got got. Let's see. Oh, can't make that jump quite. That was very, very funny. And an awesome hack. So thank you so much for sending that in. Short but sweet as usual. But uh, like I said, this editor is not exactly easy to use. The fact that that was a fully custom level like that is actually pretty goddamn impressive all in all. Um, I've messed around with it myself, and all I've been able to do so far is heavy level edits. I haven't made anything from scratch, which is uh, kind of weird. But, um... You know, it's it's really it's not as quick to edit levels as it was before in the other one. Hold on, if I think if I do this and then I get well, that's gone flying away on me. I was trying to do the glitch where we have uh, super fast carpet travel. I made a whole video on it, but I can't even pull it off myself. So <laughs> I guess uh, I'm not good at my own glitches. But um, yeah, the fact that it's a little short one level hack is probably due to the fact that. Uh, Level editor is not exactly easy to use. A little bit clunky, but uh, definitely worth checking out if you yourself want to um, make a Super Mario hack. You could do it right now. You could do it right now after ending this video. Think about that. You'd have something made forever. A hack. A piece of level, level design history to add to the collection. Uh, but I'll stop going on and on about this. Thank you again for sending this in. This was pretty awesome. Uh, we don't have to watch me beat or fail to beat 1-2 over and over, I should say. I'm not even beating it. Uh, this level's actually hard, uh, even in the original game. That's why I like to skip over this section. This bomb area is not exactly easy. But, um, yeah, I had fun playing this. If you have an SMB2 hack out there, please send it in. I would love to see more of this. As far as I know, there's only a few of them that exist at all. Really, uh, there's not, like... Like, I know GlitchCat7 made one that's pretty famous that I should probably try one day. Uh, because he was, like in cahoots with the author of this hack, or the author, author of SMB2 Edit, and kind of like, he's like the... He's created the main hack for the engine, I think, but um, there's just not too many other for it yet. So if you ever make one, if you've made one, you know of one, please let me know. I'd love to try it on the channel. And I guess we'll stop playing SMB2 now and, and just <laughs> ranting about nothing. Um, oh, we got the head bop. But, uh, yeah, we'll end this level here. We'll get eaten by a bird man into the wall and say thank you so much for joining me, friends. I hope you enjoyed another episode of Squeeze Around Matt Grump. If you have a hack you want to send me, send it to me at sendmeyourhacks at gmail.com or let me know down into the comments and I will respond to you. And we will play it on the channel and I'll have a blast and I'll thank you profusely for being so kind as to share it with me. So, yep, thanks for watching, friends. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll be back with another one soon and I hope to catch you all there. Take it easy. <laughs> Okay, so we're back for just a second, folks. I almost forgot to try his peach. We gotta see what it's like to hate our lives as peach. I can't believe I almost didn't try peach after all that. Oh my fucking god. Does this just slowly... Am I even going downwards? Oh. Like, <laughs> what is the... What are the physics even? Oh, it's slow falling forever. But... Like, even when I come out of there, I can just kind of... I can just hover across the level. <gasps> oh, shit. Don't do that. Do not... F well, okay, you can't... 
You literally cannot, like, ride logs with Peach or you're fucked. I think we're gonna try and hover the entire level this way. <laughs> oh my god, this, what a fun engine to fuck around in, right? Like, you could change the physics for all the different enemies. <laughs> so I'm assuming you gave it Infinite Hover, but, um... Oh, I can still drop like that. Okay, I think we get the point of that. I just wanted to check that out before we uh, left. So thanks again for joining me, friends. Hope you enjoyed this little outro uh, extra squigs, squigs tidbit. <laughs> and um, I'll catch you all in the next one. Boom. Rum, bum, ba, dum. Now, oh, wait. We've ascended. Oh, we're off. I don't know how that worked. Oh, we're gone. Oh, there we're back. <laughs> I really don't- I think by going off the vine, I can just go up forever. Uh, let's see. Yeah, what the hell? I don't understand how this works. At all, but whatever. <laughs>